Alright, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Humanetics Kit on the analyzer. First thing you want to do is you want to pull out this purple line right here. You just want to untangle it and you're just going to put it aside. You can either hang it up here or just let it dangle. It's really a matter of personal preference. And we're going to go and pull this loop section right here out and the bowl. I'm going to place the bowl in here so it snaps. You want the blue facing towards the locking mechanism here. You're going to go ahead and put these loop in here so it clicks. You can go ahead and put the purple line where there's a purple dot right there. All right. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to close the lid. Make sure it locks. All right. Now next you're going to pull out the platelet bag from the filter bag. Gonna pull it apart. You can go ahead and snap your culture bag closed and go ahead and clamp one of these red clamps closed. I'm just going to pull it apart. Now you'll want this filter bag, this filtration bag, facing on the outside your machine right here. Right. Next you'll want your plasma bag and your air bag. I'm just going to pull it out, remove the elastic band. This tubing right here, you're just going to make it loop around the arm. The blue is on the left and everything else goes on the right. You have your plasma bag put it on the weigher arm. Then we're going to take all these colored lines here. They're already um, taped together. You're just going to put them in between those two notched metal pieces there. And put the air bag over it like that. Keeps it nice and neat. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this line right here in the sensor. Make sure you want to floss it well. Cause sometimes it won't read it what, uh, register it being there. You can have some serious issues later on. And then you go ahead and put your SPM on, the filter there. Just put everything is pretty much color coded. With this blue line here, you want to make sure that it doesn't touch the wear arm. That can cause problems for you if it's too close and touching. Go ahead and put your red line on here. Now you can go ahead and take the rest of the stuff out. The red line in there. Now there's this this next part. There's um, a couple different ways of doing it. Um, the way that I do it is I go ahead and I put this in here first. You want to make sure that the white hard plastic is facing outward. Um, if you have it like this, you'll have issues. It'll fall off, and you'll wonder why things aren't going very well for you. <laughs> so you want to make sure they're facing outwards like that. Go ahead and put the DPM in. There we go. Now, this just gets flossed in between here. The, line, the air sensors. Now this part right here, I go ahead and clip the clamp shut. Or you can do that at the end. It's really a matter of whatever works best for you. Whatever flows best for you. You can either um, take this apart and you can loop it around three times take holding it by the needle you do it this three times and it untangles or well the other method I can't really show right now <laughs> since I already did it for you but um, the other method is you'll, you'll just take the needle loop and this um, anticoagulant loop and you just kind of pull them apart and then you can just hang it right there. That makes sense. So basically once you have it untangled you're just going to put your needle hang it up right there. It stays out of your way. And like I mentioned before you want to make sure these two clamps are closed. This part right here goes up there. 
Now, paper off. You're going to put this on here, the blue line, clamps. Make sure you have the tubing in the sensor. Then this right here just loops around this pole. And this part right here is going to go in there, in the sensor. Then you want to just double check your work, make sure everything's good, everything's clamped. Nothing's pinched, nothing's tight, check for kinks. And then you're good to go. Hit draw. And that's it.